1994, Carl Sims published his landmark paper on Evolved Virtual Creatures, or EVCs. Since that time, Sims' work has been extended in multiple fields, including graphics, evolutionary computation, artificial life, and even, robotics. But one important aspect of EVCs remains essentially unchanged. Behavioral complexity. This paper presents a method to finally break that barrier, by adding three new components to a basic EVC system. A syllabus, encapsulation, and pandemonium. First, a human-designed syllabus is created, which breaks a complex learning task into a sequence of smaller subtasks. Second, once a subskill's evolution is complete, an automated encapsulation process is applied, preserving the skill as evolution continues, and also making it easily accessible to future evolution, by allowing it to be activated, and deactivated, as a unit. Finally, Pandemonium allows a human user to place subskills into a winner-take-all competitive groups when it is known that only one of these skills can be usefully employed at any given time. For example, as this creature turns to face a target, no useful result is expected from attempting to turn left and right simultaneously. With these three elements in place, it is now possible to consider a full example in which this new method is used to match, then exceed previously achieved levels of behavioral complexity for evolved virtual creatures. This example will be based on the syllabus shown here. Skills will be added incrementally until the full complexity top-level behavior is achieved. First, a forward locomotion result from the basic EVC system is encapsulated. With that skill preserved, a new independent skill, a left turn, can be acquired, resulting in the new brain and behavior shown here. Similarly, a right turn can be evolved into the existing creature, and encapsulated. Next, the creature is allowed to develop photoreceptors, and is rewarded for its ability to maintain orientation toward the target using the previously developed left and right turn skills. At this point, by combining the ability to turn to face a target, with the ability to move forward, it should be relatively easy to learn to navigate to a target, matching the approximate behavioral complexity previously achieved in EVCs. That result is shown here. Now, we will take a step beyond target following, to an attack, composed of navigating to a target, then striking it. First, the strike is developed, with the creature rewarded for its ability to deliver a forceful impact to the ground. Then, with the ability to move to a target, and the ability to strike, a combined attack skill can be evolved. Now, with a relatively complex attack behavior complete, we will add an opposing retreat behavior, in two steps. First, the creature evolves the ability to turn away from a target, reusing its previously developed left and right turn skills. Then, turning away can be combined with forward locomotion, to finish the retreat behavior. Finally, with finished attack and retreat behaviors easily accessible to evolution, the creature can be trained to switch between them, based on environmental stimuli. 